I've made a video in a little while because life's good, man. Uh, enjoyed the summer with my little boy. The black Porsche stopped breaking down. Well, the white Porsche, of course, didn't break down. I sold my Mercedes. Um, that uh, what was a 2016 Mercedes-Benz GLA 250. I bought it for Father's Day three or four years ago. Because um, I felt bad stuffing my little kid in the back of my Honda. So that's how long ago I bought that car. And uh, I no longer drive far, so I didn't really need that. It was like a perfect little compact town car. So Hawaii is... Um, interesting because parking spaces are smaller than they are on the mainland and uh, so having a big car is not fun so that's what makes the Porsche kind of fun um, and so that little Mercedes was a compact so it's easy to drive in town I used to have, have like a 25 mile commute and so if you get stuck in traffic you know Mercedes-Benz is a nice car to be stuck in traffic with that one had a really nice stereo system nice sunroof great AC comfortable seats um, now uh, selling that was not quite fun. So selling cars is not fun. Um, put it on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, first thing you get is people offering you half of what the car is worth. Now that Mercedes, let me just, was a 2016. I bought it used in 2018. Actually a really good car. Drove great. Was actually pretty darn quick if you I li just leaned on it the turbocharged four-cylinder uh, motor 275 foot-pounds of torque so it had a lot of go and it drove easy like up the hill easy pass cars easy that type of thing for a zero to 60 time of uh 6.7 seconds is quick enough so um it had plenty of power um and i didn't race the car it was just a good commute car but when i go to sell it this is where the drama is okay so I was selling the car for Blue Book, excellent condition. The car had, I don't know, 36,000 miles on it. So I go on, you know, look at all the comparable cars for sale. And mine is the cheapest one with the most options. So most of them are over 30 that are for sale. And I'm selling mine for 28 with a warranty for two years. And the car is mint and it has a premium package and the sport package and the multimedia package and the glass sunroof. So um, that Mercedes new was 49,000 and I'm selling it for 28 with 36,000 miles on it. So I was like, wow. But I, several, I had several people interested in the car, but most of them are just wishy-washy and disappearing. So after a week or two of selling the car, I'm like, you know, maybe I won't sell it. Um, but I was selling it because I was thinking I'll order a truck and then that truck will show up in a few months. And that was the whole goal. And originally I was waiting, thinking that, you know, by Christmas there would be this Tesla Cybertruck, but that's been severely delayed. And so the backup plan is to buy a, a used Toyota truck. And biscuit, my cat, come here, come here, come here, you're gonna meow, everybody wants to see you. Oh, this is the biscuit, say hi. Now you're not gonna talk? Okay. All right, so there's my cat. Um, <laughs> so I decide I'm gonna just keep the Mercedes. I'm like, I don't need to sell it. I can reinstate the warranty. The car is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, and then uh, one of the people who had looked at the car said, hey, is the car still for sale? And I said, yeah, I just was irritated with all these people on Facebook giving ridiculous offers because the car's for sale for 28. Have people just messaging me, hey, will you take 18, will you take 19? And I'm like, it's the cheapest one for sale that's used that has any options because it's all-wheel drive. Oh, never mind. Just, you understand. Um, and I said, yeah. And he's like, hey, will you go any lower? And I'm like, well, I lowered it down to 26. Um, the blue book on the cars uh, for excellent condition is like 28. I really don't need to get a lot of money out of it because I got a good deal when I bought it. That's how you make money on cars is when you buy them. And so... And he, uh, um, so then he's like, oh, will you take like another $500 off? And I said, you know what? I will. And I'll just get it done and sell the car. So sold that car for 25 because originally wanted 20, um, the 28, but it turns out I'm going to get more money back because even though I sold it at lower than what I wanted, I'm getting more money back from the warranty. My goodness, Biscuit, can I just, yeah. Can I just talk? Can you hear that? Oh my god. Do you want food? 
No, you want me to pet you. So I sold the Mercedes, and then I drove the black Porsche most of the summer. Oh, not quite a full two months as my daily driver. I drove it everywhere. And that is actually a lot of fun, but there's limits to that because the car can only store so much. Um, yeah. So let's go and I'll show you what I did buy. Okay, so I sold my Mercedes and bought this. Uh, 2021 Tundra. Um, I had originally put in an order for one, but I used to have a Tundra and I missed that truck tremendously. And it was lost um, in an accident in front of my house. I have a video clip of it from the security camera. SR5 edition. Um, my, I wanted to replace the one that was lost. Um, I needed it to be a V8, six and a half foot bed, two wheel drive, and I didn't care about having it be a four door, but I like the back. And I know you're thinking to yourself, Porsche boy buys a truck. I know you're thinking to yourself, Porsche boy buys a truck. Um, I always like trucks. Trucks are awesome. Uh, trucks save money, especially on the house. Like my last truck paid for itself just by removing all the trees and filling the dirt. Do you hear those birds? There's a posse of minor birds, which you'd have to look them up, M Y N A. They're little gangsters. They live in the tree over there. They're just fighting with each other. Um, I still have the two Porsches. Um, probably going to keep them for a while longer. The white one I'm going to try and keep forever until I can't get in and out of it. And it's really funny because you like climb to get in this and you fall out and the Porsches you fall in and you climb to get out. So you kind of yin yang. Now I, I haven't had this Toyota truck long enough to do a review on it. I still don't know like the, the technology and all the packages is very uh, different. Japanese truck. Um, uh, the first day I had it I'm pulling out somewhere and I reach down because in this white Porsche and on that Mercedes, the parking brake is you reach down and you push to turn it on, you pull to turn it off. So I, I'm in this truck and I pull it and you know what happens? The hood popped open and I just, just started laughing. So um, a lot of silly stuff that's just mostly funny to me, but I thought I'd share that with you because you can imagine my surprise. So I. Or, Went to order a Toyota Tundra. Toyotas are really hard to get in Hawaii. You can only buy it through the Surfco, which is not a dealership, it's a distributorship. Toyota, so they don't mark them up and they usually give a small discount, but they weren't in the mood to give discounts because they don't have inventory. So if you go there, they don't have any trucks. So I went to order one that was gonna be a 90 day wait, basically this exact model, but a different color, a different gray. Um, this is cement gray. Um, it doesn't do anything for me, but a lot of my friends are like, oh, this cement gray is awesome. It's growing on me. I wanted to just get the base base model because I'm really, I'm going to fill this thing with dirt and tree, broke, cut down trees and bricks and, you know, it's a work truck. Two weeks goes by and the guy calls me up and he says, hey, someone canceled an order on one. Do you want this one? And it was actually the same spec as I was ordering, um, which is basically... SR5 alloy whiz. It came with this running board, uh, which I didn't want, but now that I have it, I like it because the truck is tall. Um, and it has the navigation, which I didn't want, but it's part of the infotainment package. So, And I'll do a, a more review on it later. I still drive those. I alternate every two weeks, Porsche, Porsche. Um, but in the meantime, this will be my daily until I buy something to be a real daily. Um, yeah, I like having a truck. It's so funny because when I'm in the truck, I feel like I speak like with my little North Carolina accent. I 
I will say this, it's got a big grill. Mm. And driving is like driving a land yacht. Yeah, I did good part of that.